Hi, my name is Will. Hi, my name is Cassia. And I'm a member of the NSPCC's Young People's Board for Change. We are a part of a group of young people who feed back, raise awareness and help to shape what the NSPCC and Childline do. Today, we are going to be talking about social media, body image and how these can affect young people. Okay, so I think there are a lot of positive and negative impacts that social media can have on someone's body image. On social media, we see a lot of celebrities and social media influencers that appear stereotypically perfect. But what we often don't recognise is the editing that has gone into these images. For example, by using apps and filters that alter the way they look, giving the especially vulnerable young people an idea of how they should look, which is completely false in reality, when they possibly don't even look like that themselves. As a result, we begin to edit our own images to look like that celebrity. And what we don't realise by doing this is that we are increasing the standard of perfection that is in society even more. On the other hand, we are now seeing a lot of celebrities begin to not edit their images and I've even seen some call out big brands for editing their images. This allows young people to recognise their own beauty as they realise that we don't have to fit into society's idea of perfection to be attractive or healthy. Sadly, I do often see adverts promoting how to be healthy or how to do a certain thing every day to live up to a certain vision of healthy, when in reality, that advert is likely based off false medical advice that is not actually supporting our individual health needs. What this means is that young people are becoming more anxious over how their body looks and are more easily persuaded that these things are needed and so begin to form unhealthy habits both on their mental health and their physical health. What helps you to feel more confident about the way you look? Write your answers in the comments. There is definitely a lot of pressure for young people, especially because of social media, to fit into a certain stereotype or to fit into a certain image of who we should be, with boys expected to be tough, strong and muscular, while girls are expected to be slim and delicate with perfect skin. But the truth is, we're not all going to fit into those categories and that's more than okay. The most important thing to remember here is that everyone's identities and everyone's feelings are completely valid. If you're struggling with your body image, Childline can help. You can use Childline in many ways. To talk to the counsellors, to read advice and tips on a range of topics, or to record how you're feeling in a mood journal and receive support from other young people on the website message boards. Take a look at the links in the description to find out how Childline can be there for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.